So here at the New York Auto Show, we're introducing the 2016 XF. And we have Ian Callum here, the designer, or our head designer. Uh, you hear he's talked about the design of the car. One of the things he's really stressed is the simplicity of the design of the XF. He said it's very easy to just add lots of lines to the car, but what's the hard part about design is taking lines away and kind of preserving and creating the character of the car. And we at Jaguar, we believe that it's, it's the simple, clean, pure designs. Those are the ones that last. Those are the ones that stand the test of time. To be able to get the character of the lines, this kind of, you know, the strong shoulder line that this vehicle has, the really good stance with the wheels pushed out to the corners, um, just a couple of really meaningful character lines. That's what sets this car apart. It's what's going to make the design last, it's going to keep it fresh on the road, and it's part of what gives it this kind of Jaguar design language. The XF, which he uh, worked on back in 2007, was the first modern Jaguar that really set the, the stage and set the kind of the lineage for what all future Jaguars would be from that point. And this is really kind of the next generation, showing the evolution of that design language as it applies to the next generation of the XF. There's a couple of elements that you'll notice that kind of carried over from the, the previous generation XF. Things like the very bold dashboard, the use of both aluminum and wood on the interior, but it also carries over some neat things from the XJ. There's a line that we call the Riva line, which is kind of named after Riva Italian motorboats. It's a line of wood that goes across the top of the dashboard. It's a really unique design element. It's actually very difficult to do, to package that within the car, but it helps connect the doors around the car. It gives you this really elegant line of wood that kind of just basically connects the sides draws the eye. It's really attractive interior. The new XF is a very aluminum intensive vehicle. It's working off the, the platform that we have developed for both the XE, uh, the XF, and all future Jaguars, including the F-Pace, will be based off of a version of this platform. The F-Type, of course, is all aluminum. The XJ is all aluminum. The XK was an all aluminum vehicle. We are now bringing the XF into that kind of all aluminum family. It shaves a tremendous amount of weight, 80 kilograms off of the, some of the competition. Uh, and several hundred pounds basically off the previous generation XF. Of course, that pays dividends in terms of performance, but it also pays dividends in terms of fuel economy as well. Uh, the car will be more fuel efficient, will be faster, it'll handle better just because we've taken all that weight out. It's a really great environmental benefit. And then the aluminum that we use comes from a, a largely reclaimed and reused sources. Uh, and then the car is actually bonded and riveted together, which is a production process that's more similar to what you'd find in an airplane factory than your traditional car factory. And the assembly process itself uses a lot less energy than traditional welding. So the environmental impact from just both manufacturing, uh, but also from driving the car, it just has tremendous benefits, basically because of that aluminum construction. It's a similar powertrain that you'll see in uh, the XF, where you have a 340 horsepower and a 380 horsepower supercharged 3 liter V6. And then the really exciting powertrain news is the XF will be one of the first Jaguars in this market that will receive our new Ingenium series of engines. Uh, we're building a brand new engine manufacturing facility in England, and the first engines that you'll see come from that is very high-tech four-cylinder gas and diesel engines. It's really exciting for us here at the New York Auto Show because we have both the XE, the XF, and the XJ on display on the stand today. And this really is showing the renaissance of the Jaguar sedan segment. We have now, as you mentioned, the full lineup. So we have the, the compact with the XE, we have the midsize with the XF, and then of course our flagship with the XJ, that we really do have the full breadth of sedans. And then when we add the F-Pace to the lineup, we will have a crossover. Of course, we have the sports car, the coupe and the convertible with the F-Type. So Jaguar, just in the past few years, has really transformed into a car company that made, you know, previously only about three vehicles, really. We had an S-Type, an XJ, and an XK. We're now really a full-line vehicle manufacturer. We have basically a vehicle in every luxury segment. And we're able to really go after new customers, attract new people into the brand, people that either or another could have afforded the brand before or just really weren't attracted to what we offered. But we can start from you know, the, the post-grad guy who's just got his MBA, who's you know, starting on Wall Street, you know, get him into an XE or maybe even an F-Type, work them all the way up through their, uh, their career and their progression of vehicles, ultimately to get them into a long wheelbase XJ for that full luxury experience.